If you're looking for a fun and inexpensive hand stitching project, stitching on plastic canvas might be a great option for you. Today, I'm gonna to introduce you to plastic canvas, tell you why it's a great stitching option, and give you some tips for getting started. Welcome to Eva Studio. My name is Elizabeth, and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So you might have seen sheets of plastic canvas in a craft store or kits that use plastic canvas. And you might've been nervous not knowing exactly what it is and exactly how you're supposed to use it. But if you're looking for a hand stitching project, this is a great option. It's a great option for anybody who has um, vision or maybe dexterity issues because it is quite big. Um, it's easy to see and easier to work with than some of the other finer embroidery materials. It can also be really cost effective because the canvas itself is inexpensive and you don't need a lot of fancy tools. Because the plastic is rigid, you don't need a hoop or a frame. You can just hold it in your hand and stitch on it. So the only tools really that you need are a pair of scissors and a needle. Another fun thing about plastic canvas is because it is rigid, it can be used to make three dimensional objects. And so you can make things like this little um, cup with a lid, containers like this, you can make boxes, you can make picture frames. There's lots of fun things you can do with plastic canvas that you can't easily do with other types of embroidery materials. So plastic canvas, is a great option for a lot of things. As I said before, the only tools that you need are scissors and a needle. Now for scissors, you don't need fancy sewing scissors for this, just any craft scissors because the plastic canvas can be easily cut with that. For a needle, you want a yarn needle or darning needle, something like that, but you wanna make sure it has a large eye so that it can accommodate your yarn that you're using and a dull tip. You can get these in metal or even plastic. So this is a great option for teaching children to stitch because it's not a sharp needle because you're not piercing anything. You're just pulling it through the holes that are already in the canvas. So for the thread, for what you're used to stitch, this is just a basic medium weight yarn. So you can get that pretty inexpensively in a craft store. If you only need small amounts of specific colors, check out this video, which has my trick for inexpensively getting yarn for your plastic canvas projects. Plastic canvas comes in sheets like this. Uh, you can get different sizes. You can get quite large sheets if you wanna make something really big. The standard size is seven count. That means that there's seven squares per inch. If you're doing a project and you're gonna need more than one sheet of plastic canvas, I recommend getting sheets that are made by the same manufacturer to make sure that they exactly match. Sometimes there are tiny differences between manufacturers. And so you wanna just make sure that you can line things up easily when you're joining pieces together. Now you can, if you look around, find sheets that have a much smaller grid on them. That makes it a larger count because there's more squares per inch. And so that's also a good option. It will be slightly more difficult to see and work with. So if it's for children or people with dexterity issues, then maybe think about that. But this is another good option to work with. And the sheets of plastic canvas can be easily cut down into squares or rectangles. Because the grid, you can just count how many squares you need and then cut it. And it cuts very easily with scissors. If you want pieces that don't have right angles, so either they have curves or they have angles that are not 90 degrees, you can get these custom-made shapes to specific sizes, like circles, and you can also get hearts, stars. There's a lot of different shapes that you can get. So that's what you would use if you were gonna make 
um, like a bowl or a cup container, something like that. You can even get custom pieces that are designed to be stitched and then folded up into a shape like a bag or something like that. So once you see what there is, you can see there's a lot of different options for plastic canvas. So I hope you'll consider plastic canvas as a great stitching opportunity. To see how to get started stitching on plastic canvas, you can check the link below for tutorial or check out my other video. For more embroidery tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out my website, ebitastudio.com.